Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to attend the horse race season, which was held for the Cups of His Majesty the King and the World Championship of Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bin Timbarak for the trainee riders EFRA, organized by the Rashid Club for Equestrian and Horse Racing this afternoon at the racetrack in Rafa Sahir. Upon his arrival, His Royal Highness was welcomed by the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Supreme Commission of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty's Representative for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, his Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Committee of the Rajad Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that the Horse Racing Festival is part of His Majesty's interest in the authentic Arab sport and motivating the young people to practice the heritage of the fathers and grandfathers. His Royal Highness expressed his pleasure at attending the horse race meeting on behalf of His Majesty the King. He pointed out that the equestrian sport witnessed great achievements in light of the support of His Majesty the King and the achievements of the people of Bahrain on the Arab and international levels. He also praised the efforts of the Supreme Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club chaired by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa to organize this festival and various equestrian events which attracted owners and riders from Bahrain and abroad. Present at the race were the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, dignitaries, officials and diplomats. At the end of the races, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister crowned the winners with His Majesty the King's Cup for imported horses and the Charter Cup to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also presented His Majesty the King's Cup for locally bred horses to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty the King's Cup for Arabian horses to the winning owner Hamad Al Mraisi congratulating the winners, wishing them luck and success. The Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment and Pre President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, presented the cup of Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bin Tibarak for the trainee riders, EFRA, to the winners, the cups of the National Bank of Bahrain and the University of Bahrain. The event included six races and witnessed a number of entertainment and family events that attracted huge spectators.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the first day of Bahrain Comic Con 2018 held under His Highness's patronage at the Bahrain International Circuit. Organized by Della Promotions, the event is taking place over two days between the 16th and 17th of March. During the event, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed noted the importance of the Bahrain Comic Con 2018 to support the development of Bahrain's tourism sector and strengthening the kingdom's reputation as an internationally renowned destination for world-class events. His Highness expressed his thanks to all those involved in organizing Bahrain Comic-Con 2018 while highlighting that the event serves as a launchpad for Bahraini youth to expand their contributions to the global comic industry. Bahrain Comic-Con 2018 is a multi-genre entertainment and comic convention which brings together some of the most exciting regional and international names in popular culture and gaming, the world's biggest studios, and a host of international celebrities. An event for all the family, Bahrain Comic Con 2018 features a movie studio, a robotics section starring Bahrain's first robot, and a range of exciting competitions and tournaments. Furthermore, the event showcases official merchandise from WWE, Marvel, and much more. The Comic-Con Convention 2018 was held in Bahrain for the first time today under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. More details in this report with Sheikh Mohammed. Comic-Con is an international event that was first held in San Diego, California in 1970. Since then it has evolved into an annual event held in popular cities around the world. The time has finally come and Comic-Con was held for the first time in Bahrain and included various categories and activities from the world of entertainment and hosted both local and international celebrity guests. 
Marvel Studios are joining, uh, Disney are joining, uh, WWE Corporation from from America, they've, they've joined in with a full stand. We have UFC, we have, we've brought all these companies from all around the world. Even we're having a Saudi Japanese company called Manga Production that just came from, I mean, they're half based Saudi, and, uh, and, uh, which is a, it's, it's an amazing mix. It shows how, how powerful and how multicultural this and diverse this, this pop culture event is, you know, bringing everyone together. So that's one of the main reasons why I did it, and that's one of the main reasons why I love it. Enthusiasts, fans and cosplayers all came out in full force to catch their favorite stars and experience the best of the convention. I have been uh, to so many comic cons and all over the world, even uh, in America or uh, outside. And I really loved it and I was so excited to have it here in Bahrain and my dream came true. And uh, I hope every year we will be here Comic Con. My favorite character is Jon Snow. I'm so glad that I could uh, have the opportunity to cosplay him here in Comic Con Bahrain. Uh, well, this is actually my second uh, Comic Con. My first one was in Dubai a couple years ago. Uh, but this is actually looking uh, pretty amazing. Um, the turnout here is great. I'm glad to see uh, some Overwatch. Uh, I play that very often. But this is uh, looks like a fun event. Comic Con provides a platform for a number of local artists and performers to showcase their talents and meet like minded individuals. We've started the band not long ago. It was like two months since we did. And ever since that, and our Comic-Con gig, we've been getting so much help, support from them, from recording equipment to this gig that we're going to be playing at 7 p.m. today. So I'm an artist, and I do face paint and uh, Isabic uh, makeup. And uh, I'm so happy that uh, Comic-Con gave us this opportunity to participate and show our art. Uh, we are Bolt Artwork Design Company. We do customized designs. We do uh, frames. We do canvases. We do businesses for logos, websites. All things or anything concerns to art, we actually can do it. Um, designs with the artists of Badr Shirawi. The spectrum of interest covered is extensive and ranges from gaming to technology and art. Knowledge will be shared through hands-on fun activities and interactive panels with top creators and performers. The first ever Bahrain Comic Con will continue until the 17th of March here at the Bahrain International Circuit. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. On the sideline of the International Labour Organization Board of Directors meeting, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Mr. Jamil bin Ali Hamidan, met the Director General of the ILO Guy Ryder and the Director General of the Arab Labour Organization, Mr. Faiz al Mutairi, as well as a group of Labour Ministers and Heads of ILO Board of Directors, Member State Delegations on the sideline of the consultation and coordination on the organization's agenda topics. The Labour Minister and the accompanying delegation reviewed the latest initiatives taken by the Kingdom in the field of providing further social protection for employees and the Kingdom's efforts in the field system and legislation development to achieve further gains to workers in the Kingdom. He affirmed that Bahrain's labor achievements are a result of the directives of the leadership and the policies and programs the government launched. At the conclusion of the participation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the UN Commission on the Status of Women in the United Nations in New York, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al Ansari, in the presence of the Foreign Under Secretary, Sheikha Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, held working meetings with a number of officials in international, financial, and economic organizations. She met with the Vice President of the World Bank Group, Mahmoud Mohideen where she reviewed the experience of Bahrain in women's economic participation, as well as reviewing the objectives of Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Women's Empowerment Award. The Vice President of the World Bank Group expressed the group's interest in the award and the need to introduce it and encourage all relevant parties to participate in this prestigious award, which reinforces the institutional and individual initiatives aimed at activating women's advancement policies to support their participation in comprehensive development. The Secretary General of the Council also held a working meeting with Erica Carroll, the Director of IMF Coordination for the Middle East and North Africa, and Dr. Samira Atwajri, Senior Advisor on Health Policy at the World Bank, and briefed them on the award. During the meeting, a number of joint activities were agreed to encourage financial and banking institutions around the world to apply for this award. The Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Award for Women's Empowerment, held at the United Nations headquarters in New York, has attracted 
a large number of women stakeholders. The award, which is valued at around 400,000 US dollars, targets public and private sector institutions, civil society, and individual initiatives. Yemen's army advanced in the Naham front east of Sana'a and liberated the Rabi'in and Admagh mountain ranges. Military sources said at least 26 of the Iran-backed Houthi terrorist militiamen were killed, dozens injured, and five vehicles were destroyed. The Houthis also fled their posts. The army also shelled the Houthi posts across Naham and targeted 70 Houthi members on the outskirts of Masura and destroyed some of their vehicles. In western Yemen, Arab coalition jets bombed a training camp in Al Khafsha village east of Hudayda province. Coalition aircraft also bombed several Houthi military outposts in Hudayda, including an air defense camp north of Hudayda city and a farm used by the Houthis south of the city. Local sources said dozens of Houthis were killed and injured in the raids. Thousands of Egyptians around the world were heading to polling stations to cast their ballots in the country's presidential election. Overseas voting started on Friday and ends on Sunday. Egyptians will vote in 139 countries at 124 diplomatic and consular missions around the world. According to the National Commission for the Elections, the presidential elections are scheduled to take place on March the 16th, 17th, and 18th to choose one of the candidates for the presidency. Candidates competing in the election are the current president, Abdel Fattah Hassisi, and the head of the Ghad party, Musa Mustafa Musa. Before we end the news, a reminder of our top stories. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirms that the horse racing festival is part of His Majesty's interest in authentic Arab sport and motivating the young people to practice the heritage of the forefathers.